Hi, this is Keith and Brian. We're going to be taking a moment and introducing our most recent product. It's called, nicknamed called the Cube. It is designed to reset or decode a quick set smart key cylinder uh, quickly and easily when you have the cylinder in your hand. There's numerous reasons why sometimes you'd want to decode it if you have multiple locks at the same location that are on the same keyway or on the same key, or if you've just got the one. You might want to just reset it and move on, but if you do have multiples, it's much easier to decode it, and then you have a working key for all the rest of the locks. So what we're going to do is this consists of four parts. It's got a reset comb. It's got the probe for resetting the cylinder once you have it turned to the 90 degrees. And it's also got a decoder pin. And as you can see on it, it's got six depths and we'll get to those shortly but to use it if you're decoding it you'll use a decoder pen if you're resetting it you'll use a resetter comb go ahead and insert the cylinder into the body it's only going to go one way fully you could go other ways but it won't go fully into the lock or into the case anyways go ahead and snap it in there and we're going to take the probe, put it on the decode side. You have one through five for your spacing. On this side, you have the reset side. We'll get to that shortly. We'll go back to the decoding side since that's what we're doing right now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna insert it into one and you're gonna wanna make sure that this sidebar is all the way down because it's going to push the cylinder counterclockwise when you push this in there. And then you're going to basically, you're going to read the height of the wafers for however many are above the surface of the body. So in this case, it looks like four. Go on to the next one. It's going to be a one. And that's going to be a three. And that looks like a six. And that's going to be a two. Alright, and easily as that, you've decoded the lock. Here's a working key for it, because we've already, we've already checked it, and just to make a faster demo video, but there's the working key, decoded. Okay, so, the next step would be the resetting process. For the resetting process, you're going to enter the cylinder into the body the same way, but this time we're going to use the reset side and the reset comb. Now you're going to use the sidebar window again and you want the sidebar to be about in the middle. See how it's got play both directions? You want to put it about in the middle. Now when you insert the comb you're either going to get some spring tension or you're going to have a solid flat wall. You want the spring tension and when you feel the spring tension you'll notice in rotating this back and forward see springy now and you see the sidebar drop so once the sidebar drops just take your probe or anything really that, that can get down here and push the sidebar or hold the sidebar in you're going to take your comb out and then you're going to take your fingers and just rotate the cylinder okay so once it's rotated you have your 90 degree indicator over here that you're supposed to turn it to before you reset it all right so now this cylinder is ready to be reset. Put that in there. And we can grab our new key that we want to key it up to. Enter it in there. And rotate it back. And now this cylinder has been decoded, reset, and is ready to go. So there you go. Um, this all goes back together and it's held in place so you can't really lose any parts. The decoder goes in this little hole right here. The reset probe goes onto here and then it'll go into that slot and the rest of those will go into their little pockets. And they all snap together like that so everything stays together ready to go for whichever one you need to use whenever you need to use it. There you go. Hope you like it. 
and that's about all we got on it thanks a lot